Traditionally, we psychologically separate reconstructive from cosmetic surgery. The reconstructive surgeon, in most minds, restores the damage to the normal. The cosmetic surgeon takes the normal and improves upon it. This panel was chosen to advance the philosophy of facial restoration, the combination of the surgeon's hand and the artist's eye, to use cosmetic techniques on reconstructive cases and vice versa to attain the best result for the patient. Here is a perfect example of such a situation. This is a 62-year-old woman who was trampled by a 1,500-pound stallion in Mexico. Her facial fractures were not repaired and she healed her displaced fractures in the wrong positions, causing the facial deformity demonstrated in these pictures. The reconstructive aspect of her surgery was to recut the bones, reshape them, and reposition them in their original anatomic location. Because this left excess skin on the left side, a cosmetic facelift was performed on the left and to maintain symmetry on the right as well. Her end result is that of a 62-year-old woman, both repaired and rejuvenated by her surgery. Here is another example of a girl born with hemifacial microsomia, deficient development of half of her face. Using orthognathic surgery techniques, she has had her jaw symmetry improved by osseous distraction and her chin advanced. Facial fat injection is then used to help fill the soft tissue defects. Again, the combination of hard tissue reconstruction with soft tissue cosmetic techniques helps this patient attain facial restoration. This panel is composed of some of the top surgeons in the field. Dr. Sid Coleman, a pioneer in fat grafting, Dr. John Jacobs, an expert in orthognathic surgery, and Dr. Mutaz Habal, an expert in facial implant use and technology. The message of this panel is that we should treat every reconstructive patient the same as we do the cosmetic surgery patient, combining all of our training and skills to attain the most beautiful result.